In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up a site inside of Dreamweaver. Setting us up a site is the first thing that you want to do before you start using any extensions or building your website. A site tells Dreamweaver where to store all your files and lets Dreamweaver help you manage your links uh, according to the correct paths and make sure that your website works correctly once you publish it. So the first thing that we're going to do is go to Site, New Site, and I want to make sure that the Advanced tab is checked. First thing I'm going to do is enter in a name for my site. And then I'm going to select the local root folder. I'm going to click on the icon. And if you notice, I actually installed uh, ZAMP, which installs a local server with a database on my computer. So I'm going to use the htdocs folder, select new site folder, and click select. And sometimes Dreamweaver doesn't select the right folder, so I want to make sure that the local root folder is correct. HTTP address is localhost new site. And that's done for the local information. It's important to note that if you're not creating a dynamic website or if you don't have a local web server, then it's okay to put the local root folder of your site anywhere. Now the next thing I want to do is select the remote info tab. And the remote info tab is used to put your files up to your production server. So in this case, many people use FTP. The host name would be whatever your host name is from your hosting provider. And they would give you a username and a password. So enter in the username and the password. You can click test to test the connection and change any other values that you deem appropriate. A lot of this information is given to you by your hosting provider. So if you have any issues here, you should contact your hosting provider and get more information. Now if I'm creating a site that has dynamic pages such as PHP, then I'll want to go to the testing server. If you're not doing a dynamic site, then you can skip this step. So I click on testing server and I select the server model. In this case, I'll select PHP MySQL. And since, uh, remember, I installed XAMPP so that it's got a local MySQL and PHP server, I'm going to select local network. Remember the testing server folder is the same as my local root folder and then the URL is going to be my local URL. I click OK and now my site's created. I can now start creating files in the site, uh, doing whatever I need, connecting to databases, and I can go on from there. Hope this helps. Thanks a lot for watching.